I love letterbox reviews. I think they're so funny to read, even if they're like not necessarily positive. It's just like a, always an entertaining time. I'm going to start with a review from Letterboxd member Trace, who writes, Eileen is the sapphic prison rom-com crime drama I never knew I needed. <gasps> to that um, lovely reviewer, we're so happy to be of service. <laughs> I'm so, so thrilled that you're thrilled. I'm always looking out for directors that kind of spark something inside of me. And that was Will. His work on Lady Macbeth was let alone that it was for a first film, it was just such a stunning, towering, unnerving achievement. And so I was really excited to work with him. So when I read the script and saw how complex it was and realized that he was the right person to kind of unearth all these layers and that he could be trusted with these really complex characters. I don't know, it was just green lights for me. For me, yeah, it was like the chance to work with Otessa. I'd read my year of rest and relaxation before being able to audition for Eileen or read the script, and I just really, really loved that book. I think the entire world did. So I was already a fan of Otessa, watching Lady Macbeth and, and seeing how amazing a film that is, and also the incredible performances in that. Like The opportunity to work with Will was a very exciting one as well. Um, and just the material in Eileen is, is so deep and there's so much to work with and so much to explore. As an actor, that's always exciting. I, I think that uh, Rebecca had Catherine Hepburn in her mind when she was modeling herself, when she was creating who Dr. Rebecca St. John was going to be. Creating the character's voice, I pulled a lot from Patricia Neal. But in terms of Will and I, the person that our North Star, the person that we were always reaching for was Monica Vitti. We wanted to have that kind of, that sense of mystery, that sense of um, sensuality, that unpredictability, that vulnerability. And at the same time, you just got the sense that, that she, if she were to ignite, it would be fireworks across the sky. So I was really proud. The last, I can't say anything about the last shot that we filmed, but it's a scene, it involves a lot of red light and I kind of had to turn back to camera and the wig like kind of uh, framed me a certain way. Mm. And then I have to run up some stairs and Will just ran over to me and gave me the biggest hug and he just said, Monica, uh. Monica Vitti, I saw her, I saw her. It feels like we've accomplished a lot here, but if nothing else, I feel really great about that. For Eileen, I didn't have any references or like inspirations, icons in mind for her, mm -hmm. just because she didn't have any herself. Like she grew up, her mum had died, her sister had abandoned her because of such a toxic relationship with her dad. It was her and her dad and he wasn't kind to her. Like the women that she worked with at the prison also weren't kind to her. They were bullies to her. She didn't have any female role models in her life, so she was just kind of left floating. There wasn't actually anyone that like I was trying to model Eileen off until Rebecca comes along, and Rebecca's the first female role model where Eileen is like, whoa, there's like a potential in this gender, like <laughs> in being a woman. Like if Rebecca can be so powerful like that, then maybe I can too.